a few months ago. The site in, in the LA Convention Center is, is really still there. It's on what we call warm status. Uh, the issue so far down there in, it has not been the need for uh, additional bed capacity as much as the need for additional staffing support. Gilarducci says they are reaching out to the Department of Defense and private firms for more medical staff. Rob Archer, KNX 1070 News Radio. Coronavirus numbers continue to explode across L.A. County. Details after traffic in 605. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives. Denise Fondo. We had a crash, injury crash in the fast track in the 91 eastbound. Uh, that was near Gibson Canyon. Now the fast track has been cleared. I see huge delays on that eastbound side. Uh, as you head through the Anaheim Hills area, that is just a mess of a drive eastbound side and on the westbound side you've got a lot of flowing too so uh, it doesn't look like you're going to have a, a good drive for yourself on that 91 eastbound and westbound right now as you make your way through Anaheim Hills and part of the flowing on that 91 eastbound and westbound uh, folks trying to get out of the 55 southbound where we did have a signaler with four lanes blocked I believe they can just clear those lanes and move that uh, crash over to the right shoulder so hopefully that's going to alleviate some of your flowing there Let's take you with Scott Burdick over at 5 Monterey at Sigler at 7 California Toyota Dealers. Guy 5. This has been here uh, pretty much all afternoon with a uh, basically sheet metal that got dropped off a truck in the right lane on the northbound 5 at Valley View. So the Sigler there to the right lane again, North 5 at Valley View. That's the reason for the backup through the 91. If you could get on the freeway, basically any point north of Valley View, you're going to be in much better shape here. Or you could use the 91 westbound to the north 605 back to the north 5 today. We've got an injury crash in the Sepulveda Pass. If you're headed that way, it's by North near Getty. And we had a crash in the carpool lane. Uh, there was also a wreck before that in Westwood on that 405 northbound uh, near Wilshire Boulevard. We had a motorcycle and a truck involved in that one. And at least one lane tied up. So you got big delays on that northbound side of the 405. Uh, as you make your way into the Westwood area, make that crawl through the pass and into Sherman Oaks. Next report, 615 with more traffic reports more often. I'm Denise Fondo in the FCCCU 24-hour traffic center, KNX 1070 News Radio. Sunshine, warmer today. So this as we go into the weekend, couple degrees difference tomorrow, not too much, uh, but uh, some fire danger wins some spots as we hit today and go into tomorrow. But then Sunday we do warm up some more. We push towards 80 degrees in some spots. Five-day forecast. 615, 59 in Santa Clarita right now, same in Hollywood, and it's 58 in Huntington Beach. It's 607. California health officials continue to report huge numbers of coronavirus cases and deaths. In the last 24 hours, there were 41,000 new cases statewide, and 300 more people were killed by COVID-19. And there are just over 1,200 ICU beds available with more than 16,000 people in the hospital with the virus. That includes 3,400 in the ICU. The numbers in L.A. County is still very, very high. Health officials reporting more than 16,500 new cases, 96 additional deaths, hospitalizations, 5,424. More than 1,100 of those patients are in the ICU. County also reporting four new cases of that miss C in children. And as COVID-19 cases continue to surge, the number of available hospital beds in L.A. County is dwindling with just 699 reported as of 9 this morning, and only 69 of those beds are in the intensive care unit. County Health Services Director Dr. Christina Galley says that she thinks that the system is in crisis. That's the reality of where our hospitals are at and what they're experiencing on the ground when uh, ambulance offload times uh, are up to, you know, four hours, six hours, eight hours, uh, that's a crisis. When hospitals uh, have emergency departments are full, that's a crisis. When there's uh, not available, sufficiently available beds at the appropriately staffed ratio, that's a crisis. Chief Medical Officer at LAC USC Medical Center, Dr. Brad Spellberg, says they are getting crushed and the county is moving toward becoming the epicenter of the pandemic. If we don't stop the spread, our hospitals will be overwhelmed. If you have a heart attack, if you get into a car accident, if you fall on the ladder or have a stroke, we may not have a bed for you. He implored everyone to not repeat what he called the mistakes made over Thanksgiving with Christmas and New Year's Eve approaching, saying we cannot afford another spike. Margaret Carrero, KNX 1070 News.
Blaze Radio. Healthcare workers at three LA County funded medical centers will begin getting the vaccine. 6,000 doses at County USC, all of you UCLA, Harbor UCLA. The Health Services Director, Dr. Stina Galley, has been warning that hospitals and healthcare workers are being pushed to the brink of the latest surge. She says this is some hope. We can't respond to the increasing threat of this virus uh, if our workforce doesn't stay healthy. So the fact that our frontline workforce can be there getting the vaccination and is ready to get the vaccination means so much for their ability to stay safe so that they can put their skills to use in the care of patients. They were going for a thousand workers today. Big delays of the 91 in Anaheim Hills and there are still lanes blocked on the 5 in La Mirada. Our eye in the sky will be over that when we check the roads again at 6.15 at 6.11. Let's talk about your dental issues. Uh, not the usual way to lead off a conversation, but we're going to do this for a minute because we need to fix some smiles. If you fall into this category, this is not news. You already know you do, but the thing about loose or missing or damaged teeth and embarrassing smiles, it doesn't get better. It just gets worse. So, it's been long enough. we got to get you to cunning dental. Whatever the reason is, if you haven't done this already, uh, it's easier at coming. Fear of the dentist, anxiety, bad experiences. First off, great team. Second, sleep dentistry. So that solves that. You get there, you hop in the chair, it's off to sleep. And honestly, we all need a good nap these days anyways. So you're out, uh, you know, because you're sleeping, and then you're out the door because the work is done. They do it fast. They can repair years of neglect in just one or two appointments. So that way, you're not there all the time. Gentle sleep, full anesthesia either way and they can handle anything you need minor work major work whatever it is cunning dental has got you covered free sedation right now for new patients over a one thousand dollar value and use the dental insurance before the end of the year and uh, it is almost the end of the year 855-2-cunning 855-2-cunning and cunningdental.com they've been making smiles great since 1968 we've been waiting waiting for covid 19 vaccines to be developed now waiting for him to get to it. You can be more than You have a powerful way to help slow the spread right now and protect your family and loved ones too. Here's how. Watch your distance. Six feet away from folks you don't live with. It's risky to be indoors with them too. And of course, avoid crowds. Also, wear a mask. CDC reports masks protect the people who wear them and folks around them. And wash your hands using soap and water for 20 seconds, and do it frequently. Vaccines won't make COVID go away overnight, but they give us a real chance to finally overcome it. As long as we keep watching our distance, wearing our masks, and washing our hands. Learn more about vaccines at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Homeowners, the holidays are filled with magic and cheer. Celebrate now with the lowest interest rates offered all year. With Rate Plus, get the gift of a 15-year bank at just 1.75% rate, 2.104% APR, or a 30-year bank at just 2.25% rate, 2.393% APR, with no third-party fees. That's right, no title, escrow, or appraisal fees. 15-year fixed is just 1.75% rate, 2.104% APR, or a 30-year fixed is just 2.25% rate, 2.393% APR. Call Rate Plus now at 800-948-7290. That's 800-948-7290. That's 800-948-7290. Or visit RatePlus.com. Like people helping under terms and conditions apply. Not all applicants will qualify. Rate subject to change. Rate Plus Incorporated. Licensed under California Finance Law. Department of Financial Protection and Hey, I'm Andy. If you don't know me, it's probably because I'm not famous. But I did start a men's grooming company called Harry's. The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had buying razor blades. Most brands were overpriced, overdesigned, and out of touch. At Harry's, our approach is simple. Here's our secret. We make sharp, durable blades and sell them at honest prices for as low as $2 each. We care about quality so much that we do some crazy things. Like buy a world-class German blade factory. Obsessing over every detail means we're confident in offering a 100% quality guarantee. Millions of guys have already made the switch to Harry's, so thank you if you're one of them. And if you're not, we hope you give us a try with this special offer. Get a Harry starter set with a five-blade razor, weighted handle, shave gel, and a travel cover. All for just three bucks, plus free shipping. Just go to harrys.com and enter 7720 at checkout. That's harrys.com, code 77. Zero. Enjoy! This is Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station. KNX 1070 News Radio. Depend on us. 614. I'm Mike Simpson. And I'm Karen Adams. Coming up. Orange County continues.
reduce the record pace for COVID cases. And the U.S. now has two vaccines approved to try to slow down and stop the surging coronavirus pandemic. A special report coming up. I'm at 620, now. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 5. Lisa Bondo. We have a new crash reported by one of our testers on the 605 Northbound coming up on the 60. Uh, he's got a two-car wreck there in the number two lane. We also have a wreck, a uh, motorcycle wreck on the 405 Northbound. This is past Wilshire. And we also had a wreck reported on the 405 Northbound at Getty. So big delays on that northbound side of the 405. Uh, as you make your way into the Westwood area and into the Sepulveda Pass, uh, through there into Sherman Oaks. Now let's go to Sky and get an update on our five long lot of Piccolo's Southern California Toyota dealers, Sky 5. Northbound through the Five Valley View, that's where we have the right lane blocked and around some sheet metal that got dropped onto the freeway off of a truck. So you got a big back up there through the 91 freeway, getting around it, uh, 91 westbound to the north 605 back to the uh, north side will help you out. We're just trying to get on the freeway anywhere north of Valley View today. We're about to see a break on the 110. This is on the northbound side, a little south of the Avenue 52, where we have a stalled out car in the right lane. Uh, back to the 605 on the southbound side, just past Whittier. Uh, we've got a new crash reported here, two car wreck, right shoulder of the roadway. Uh, big delays on that 91 eastbound through Anaheim Hills. We had a problem at Gibson Canyon. Uh, that caused a backup starting at the 55. And we also had a sailor on that 55 southbound at Lincoln. Uh, that was cleared, but that caused some slowing as people were trying to get into the 55 southbound on that transition. Uh, pretty slow traffic still there. Next report, 625, and more traffic reports. More often, I'm Denise Fondo in the SDCCU 24-hour traffic center, KX 1070 News Radio. The high pressure system sitting over the southwest and brought us warmer than normal conditions in some spots today, and those temperatures will continue to climb to above average territory for the weekend. During this time with the hot, dry condition, we also have low humidity levels and we also have fire danger to look out for. So upper 60s for the beaches tomorrow going to the low 70s by Sunday. Low 70s for LA North County Metro going to the upper 70s by the end of the weekend. Mid 70s tomorrow for the valleys, warming to the 80s by Sunday and Monday. Low 70s for the Inland Empire warming to the upper 70s by the start of next week. Low 60s for the high deserts going to the upper 60s by Monday. And low 50s for the mountains jumping to the mid 50s by the start of next week. Southern California's most accurate pedible forecast on CBS 2 of the Your engine June temps 59 downtown LA 60, Long Beach 61 degrees in Irvine. It's 617. Small breweries in Southern California are among those that have sued Governor Newsom over his coronavirus restrictions. The lawsuit filed by the California Craft Brewers Association says the governor violated the Constitution by requiring breweries to serve meals to people visiting tasting rooms while not imposing that same rule for wineries. Association Executive Director Tom McCormick tells CanX the governor needs to apply the rules in a fair way. The only difference between uh, a brewery and a winery is one makes wine and the other makes beer. So uh, we don't see what the reasoning is that there would be two sets of regulations for those two businesses. Wineries and breweries in Southern California have been ordered to close their <coughs> tasting rooms right now because of the new regional stay-at-home orders. The governor's office says it's reviewing the lawsuit. Orange County also, of course, ravaged by the coronavirus, so just like uh, most of the states. OC health officials reporting nearly 2,600 new cases in the last 24 hours. Three more deaths, hospitalizations up again to 1,557 since Sunday, four deaths reported. If you're suffering from COVID, there's one thing you can do to help others in your situation. Only go to the emergency room if it truly is an emergency. Dr. Nicole Van Groningen at Cedar sinai Medical Center tells KNX a lot of precious hospital resources are being used up by people who don't really need them, including those who are just there to get tested. If you think you have COVID, but you're not feeling like a short of breath, like you can't breathe, you're just feeling flu-like symptoms, do not come to the ER to get tested. That, that is something that you should talk to your primary care doctor about, or maybe go to an urgent care center. Dr. Van Groningen is urging you not to neglect medical problems if you have an issue that's unrelated to COVID. You should still make appointments and keep them, and seek treatment for real emergencies and not feel as if you're overburdening the system. Brain Tang, KNX 1070, News Radio. More now on what you've been hearing here. One vaccine is great, two is even better. Now we have two. 
the FDA giving emergency use authorization to the Moderna vaccine. This follows up on the committee panel that did this uh, the other day. It comes after the Pfizer vaccine as well. The two vaccines are similar. Both are rated as highly effective, 90 plus percent. Both come in two separate doses, weeks apart. We continue our in-depth team coverage. CBS News special report. A second COVID-19 vaccine, this one made by Moderna, has been given emergency use approval tonight by the Food and Drug Administration. The CBS inspector John LaFouche. The FDA's emergency use authorization of the Moderna vaccine is a major milestone in the battle to end the COVID pandemic. Of course, researchers will keep an eye out for any unexpected side effects. But now we have two vaccines, one from Pfizer and one from Moderna, that appear to be safe and effective and which can now be used to immunize millions of people. Dr. Stephen Hahn is the FDA commissioner. Transparency around our review of Moderna of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine should assure the public that this vaccine met the FDA's rigorous standards for quality, safety, and efficacy. And there are a number of other vaccines still being tested, including ones by companies including AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson. Today, Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen were both given the Pfizer vaccine at the White House. CBS News Special Report. I'm Steve Butterfield. We check your money. Now here's Mona Rivera. With the damage still being assessed from the Russian link cyber attack, the stock market is betting on a new wave of spending to keep out hackers. Shares of cyber security firms are popping. CrowdStrike gained 10%, and other firms rally too. The three major averages of the week in the red, the Dow lost 124 points. because of two crashes, one's in Westwood, the other in Brentwood. We're checking the roads again in three minutes. It's 622. The past year, tough. We know this for a lot of people. And a lot of people, though, have stepped up around Southern California to try and help. Our KNX Hero of the Week is one of those people who's gone above and beyond to help those who are most in need. Compassion and vision are just two of many qualities that Laval Brewer embodies. In June, he became the president and CEO of South County Outreach, a homeless and under prevention program. What we do is we help people in South County who have food insecurity or homeless insecurity. We have a food pantry here that we help people with food once a month. And we have homeless prevention where we pay people to rent when they're behind in their rent here locally. But due to COVID-19, Laval had to quickly shift how the programs work and it affected hundreds of people that they feed each week. We had to shift our operations to be able to have the food be collected by a caring volunteer and then choose food that would be beneficial to that family and then bring it out to them outside the large box. But we were committed to ensuring that families still got what they needed based upon their desires. The changes also affected how South County Outreach handles the holiday. This year they are giving families in need gift cards so they can make purchases of their own. We believe it gives them more dignity and it gives them the ability to actually feel really good about what they have, but also they can use their own money to add to that gift card, which then gives them more purpose. Laval is a SoCal native. He's also a husband and a father of three beautiful daughters. SEO Chief Operations Officer Renee Stevenson says those connections help Laval have a social understanding of the community around him. He understands the people, and I think that's what's so important. You know, he, he listens to what the team, you know, says. He allows people to make those contributions, and I think that that's huge, especially coming in in this season where there's so many challenges this year, and, and you know, really engaging and understanding who we are in terms of homelessness and hunger and homeless prevention. After years of working in the nonprofit sector, helping others is in Laval's DNA. And he's our Canex hero of the week. I've just learned that when you put yourself out there to help others and they allow you to help them, that they get help, but you also get the reward of knowing that you've made someone's life better. Canex Heroes is brought to you by California Resources Corporation, saluting our military veterans and all of our heroes. Don't forget, you can nominate your own hero at knx1070.com forward slash nominate. Heather Jordan, KNX 1070 News Radio. Moderna's COVID vaccine will soon be shipped out. We have another special report.
board on it at the bottom of the hour, 625. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives. We're brought to you by Burlington and here's Denise Fonda. We've got two wrecks on the 405. The first is in Westwood, northbound side past Wilshire. A lot of calls about this one. The three and four lanes and the carpool lane. Motorcycle crash there. And then a wreck on the 405 north near Sunset in Brentwood. Uh, we're in the carpool in the left lane. All this leading to a slowdown that begins right at the 10. La Mirada signal alert still there. Five north, Valley View. Right lane is closed for cleanup of the spill. Traffic is backed up from the 91 to take the 90 west to the 605 north back to the 5. Uh, that's going to help you out as your alternate. I just saw a problem coming in for the 5 north south of Colorado Boulevard. You've got an entry crash with a car on his side. Now the fire department's on the way there. Uh, the right lane is blocked, and then El Monte on the 10 west side, a little bit before Valley Boulevard. We've got a new wreck reported. This one happened in the left lane, and it looks like you've got two cars on the right shoulder. One car still there in the left lane. And on the 10, a mid-city eastbound side, uh, a little bit before Normandy, we've got a fire reported just off the freeway lanes. Get your gifts for less at Burlington. Find wow deals on toys and beauty and accessories for her, tech and active for him. Plus, baby's first Christmas, all up to 60% off other retailers' prices. Burlington loves the deal. Next report, 635. With more traffic reports, more often. I'm Denise Fondo in the SCCCU 24-hour traffic center. KNX 1070 News Radio. Warming up from where we were yesterday. Sunshine, 60s and some low 70s. We'll keep this going for the weekend and some winds as well into the weekend, kind of heightening the fire danger. But 60s and 70s as we go into tomorrow. A couple degrees change, not too much. But by Sunday, we do pop up some more. So some spots pushing towards 80 degrees, at least right there in the upper 70s. 59 in downtown LA. Hawthorne now, 59 degrees and 62 in Fullerton. LA County is looking to vaccinate 6,000 frontline health care workers by Christmas. And in Long Beach, it received 3,900 doses of the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine. We'll have more in three minutes. It's 627. Brought to you by California Resources Corporation. It was the holiday season and family felt glee, for they shopped at Ralph's, where pickup was free. Sweet spiral ham, a salad so merry, green beans and Brussels, and cake topped with cherry. May the magic of fresh food never be done. Happy holidays <coughs> from Ralph. Fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more restrictions apply. Now you can save on your favorites with delivery and free pickup. Just visit Ralph's.com or download the app. Restrictions apply. Ralph's. Fresh for everyone. Now is the time for great year-end savings because Toyota-thon is on. Get 0% financing for 60 months and save big on many of Toyota's most popular 2021 models. That's 0 for 60 on a legendary new 2021 Prius, innovative new Prius Prime, or on the entire Corolla family, including Corolla Hybrid and Hatchback. If you're looking for amazing deals on a reliable new Toyota, head to Toyota-thon today. These deals all last. So hurry in. Limited term financing through Toyota Financial Services. 0% APR includes 60 monthly payments of $16.67 per $1,000 borrowed. For example, 10% down. Not all customers will qualify. Down payment varies with credit. See dealer for details. Must take delivery from model year 2021 new car dealer stock by midnight January 4th. Toyota. Let's go places. Most things in life, I've had to figure out for myself. How to make money, how to write a resume, how to talk to boys. But when it came to signing up for health insurance, I had a hard time figuring it out my own. Turns out, I didn't have to. Cover California was made by Californians for Californians. They have experts to walk you through the process and financial help for people who need it. Enroll now at CoveredCA.com. Covered California, this way to help insurance. There's a new chicken sandwich combo in town. Or should I say, clock sandwich combo. Featuring Jack in the Box's all new, thicker, crispy, juicy chicken filet topped with pickles, mystery sauce, all in a brioche bun. And a small drink and fries, all for $5.99. Come see for yourself or have it delivered. Introducing Canada Dry Bowl Ginger. It's not your grandma's ginger ring. I know because I'm not your grandma. I don't pressure you to get married. I say play the field all you want. And I drink you, Canada with an extra kick of real ginger taste that would blow the bingo cards out your grandma's bag. I drink it while watching Backyard Wrestling. There's more on the line when the wrestlers don't have insurance. New Canada Drive Old Ginger, not your grandma's ginger ale. Whatever you send through the U.S. Postal Service this season is so much more than mail or packages. In every case,
exterior of Sam's is a card with your handwriting. In every box, on every truck, is your message that you care. We know how much goes into your holiday mail, especially this year, which is why we go the distance to bring you closer. Learn more at USPS.com. I feel like you're being conscious by a pair of headphones. Everywhere I go, it's a creepy ad for headphones I looked at one time. I hate feeling like I'm being watched. I downloaded DuckDuckGo and saw a difference right away. Take back your privacy with DuckDuckGo. This is Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station, KNX 1070 News Radio. Good evening, I'm Karen Adams. And I'm Brian King. Our top story, it's here at a time when we need it most, a second vaccine. The FDA has given emergency approval to Moderna's COVID vaccine with millions of doses set to ship out. That could start to happen as soon as tomorrow, and this vaccine is similar to the one from Pfizer that's already being given out. We have in-depth team coverage at 631. CBS News special report a week after approving the Pfizer vaccine. The FDA has done the same for Moderna's version for emergency use. Shipping could start this weekend. CBS's Dr. John LaPook. He sounds like he's just gotten the best Christmas present ever. The FDA's emergency use authorization of the Moderna vaccine is a major milestone in the battle to end the COVID pandemic. Of course, researchers will keep an eye out for any unexpected side effects. But now we have two vaccines, one from Pfizer and one from Moderna, that appear to be safe and effective and which can now be used to immunize millions of people. To have two vaccines authorized less than a year after the genetic code of the virus was published is absolutely a technological tour de force. Now, of course, it'll take tens of millions of people getting vaccinated to finally bring the pandemic under control and ultimately end it. ER Dr. Teresa Amato says, just remember, this is a marathon. It is not a sprint. CBS News Special Report. I'm Peter King. LA County has embarked on a massive effort to administer 6,000 COVID-19 vaccinations to frontline health care workers by Christmas. The county's Department of Health Services is operating vaccination clinics at LAC, USC Medical Center, Olive View, UCLA, and Harbor, UCLA. Health Services Director, Dr. Christina Galley. Amidst this surge, it gives me a lot of joy that we're carrying uh, for those frontline health care workers in a very real and central way right now. Prioritizing the people who have uh, been out on the front line and who have put uh, so many things at risk and uh, really been so selfless throughout. Dr. Tamara Chambers, an ENT surgeon, is among those to receive the vaccine. I'm so grateful that I'll be able to continue to provide safe and effective care um, to patients who are taking in the critical care in the ICU during their, uh, you know, most dire times of need. With another shipment of the vaccine anticipated in the near future, the goal is to vaccinate at least 10,000 county health care workers before the end of the year. Margaret Carrero, KNX 1070 News Radio. Frontline health care workers in Riverside University Medical Center lined up today to be among the first in the county to receive the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine. Dr. Nikki Mittal, a pulmonary specialist, was the first to be vaccinated. She says she sees the sickest of the sick, but the pandemic really hit home when her husband was infected. I come to work and I see all these patients who are not surviving and who are doing poorly, so um, it really, I think, impacted me in a whole other way that that I stood in the shower crying, is my husband going to die? Because all I'm seeing at work are patients who are not surviving. Matola says she had a bit of hesitancy in deciding to get vaccinated, but felt more confident when the trial results came in. She says the recent spike in cases and hospitalizations have been increasingly hard to deal with as patients are coming in sicker and sicker. The county is expected to receive more than 25,000 doses this week and next. 3,900 doses of the Pfizer vaccine have arrived in Long Beach, and today one of them was injected into the arm of Brandon Gatling, a nurse at Long Beach Memorial Medical Center. He said it felt like every other time he'd been vaccinated. Hopefully one day, now that this vaccine is here, we can start to move forward and look for the end. It was part of a campaign to reassure people who are skeptical about the vaccine. Mayor Robert Garcia says health care workers will get it first, then first responders, skilled nursing professionals, and essential workers. And with many frontline health care workers in L.A. County still waiting to get their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, an executive at a local hospital says he already got his shot. When I called Brian Green, marketing director at Arcadius Methodist Hospital, he offered several reasons for being among the first to get vaccinated. He said he regularly comes into contact with frontline healthcare workers and he wanted to show others that the vaccine is safe. Green told me the hospital, while giving priority to frontline healthcare workers, was offering the vaccine.
seen that anyone who wanted it. He added, it's not like I cut the line or something. The LA County Department of Public Health is investigating and says in a statement, equitable and transparent distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine is one of our top priorities. Other Methodist officials have not responded to our request for comment. Hospitals have been told to prioritize vaccinations for healthcare workers at high risk of exposure. The Public Health Department warns major departures from that guidance should cause hospitals to lose out on patient shipment. Plug it to Skew Talk, KNX 1070 News Radio. California not getting as many vaccine doses as originally thought. This as the state is seeing an alarming number of COVID cases. Details after traffic at 